India is a country of 1.4, 1.5 billion people. A developed India will happen only when well we are self-sufficient in food. Towards that, scientists from the Indian Council of Agriculture Research has given India the world's first genome-edited varieties of rice. Mark my words, the world's first. I have with me Dr. C. Vishwanathan, a well-known genetics and plant breeder who works on modern technology and somebody who has developed these varieties which you see here. Uh, Dr. Vishwanathan, what is special about these varieties? Thank you, Dr. Pallavji, for asking this uh, very, very important question. So these varieties, as you told, these are the world's first genome-edited varieties that are developed in rice and dedicated to nation. These were the first varieties that are developed and tested in the multi-location trial in different places of the nation in the country. None other country has uh, done this. So this first I will talk about uh, this variety. This variety is Samba Masuri variety. This you see, uh, this one, it is improved for its uh, grain yield. So in this one uh, gene named grain number one, it is also called as cytokine and oxidase. That gene is mutated to develop the variety which you can see the grain number is increased significantly and this variety produces almost 30% more grain. And you can also see that this variety now only it has uh, flowering stage has come. Already the the, uh, the DRR uh, Don 100 or Kamala, this already you can see the grain is matured. So it saves almost about 20 to 25 days uh, duration in the field. So which means lot of saving in water, irrigation water, and also it saves nitrogen, it uh, releases le less methane emission. So is it climate smart? Yes, this is climate smart as because uh, I told it is about 20 days uh, less duration and it uses less nitrogen. It is also providing tolerance to drought stress. So it is climate uh, smart uh, variety. Are the grains as good as the older varieties? Yeah. Say Samba Masuri and yeah, now you call yeah, it Kamla. This, uh, this grain quality is same as that of the Samba Masuri. It is uh, tested for all its grain quality character. It is ex exactly same as that of the Samba Masuri. So this will have uh, more benefit to the farmer because he is getting the 30% more yield from the same land with less duration. And what about this? Is, this, is the eating quality or the feed uh, taste in the mouth the same? Yeah, it is taste and uh, is everything is same. Taste, cooking quality, everything is same. It has been tested. When can we see this in the farmer's field? So, as explained by our honorable AM, now uh, we will do produce breeder seed uh, this season and then foundation seed. Within uh, this period of time, we will uh, resolve the freedom to operate issue and then we expect within uh, maybe next season we will be able to. Uh, provide at least for testing once the IPC is resolved. How do we resolve the intellectual this, property right issue? This one intellectual property uh, right because we are uh, working about for the farmers, uh, the original uh, discoverers and uh, they want this technology uh, go to the uh, farmers and uh, at the uh, free of cost. So we are currently uh, the council is in the process of uh, discussion with them. Hope we will be soon, uh, we will come to an agreement to take this technology to the farmer's field. So, we have jumped one rung. You had traditional breeding, you had different ways, then you had genetic modification and now gene editing. The 21st century breeding technology. Will this lead to an India which is food self-sufficient? Yes, definitely. Because in the in this technology, any variety can be improved within shorter period of time. The conventional method it takes about seven to eight years to develop a variety. So in this one, within three years you can develop the variety. And in this, the advantage is that you can uh, create any kind of mutation more precisely within uh, lesser time. So any variety can be improved very quickly. In addition to that, there is also opportunity. We have a lot of land races. Uh, which produces less yield and some of the uh, these traditional varieties which produces less yield and those varieties can also be improved by simple modification of one or two gene mutation. So it has a lot of potential. Can we take this to other crops? We are 
We yeah. are well short of pulses and oil seeds. Yes, it is uh, again a very, very important uh, question. Our uh, ICR is uh, working on uh, different crops now. Now we are working on 24 different uh, field crops and 15 uh, horticultural crops. So we are working on uh, in mustard to increase the yield similar uh, to mustard in other oil seed crops, increasing the yield, increasing the disease resistance so that farmer can use uh, less uh, pesticide and he can get more income. Similarly, in pulses, we are working in uh, red gram, mung bean, and also uh, chickpea and various other pulse crops. In addition to that, we are working in uh, maize for uh, more production and more uh, biofortified varieties and also to increase the population density of the maize so that in this we, we can make quantum jump in the yield. Similarly, various other crops and also in horticultural crop ICR is making lot of effort. Soon we will uh, get these varieties uh, coming to the field. If I come to your lab, can I have a cooked bowl of Kamala? Yes, yeah, sure. You are most welcome. So that was Dr. Vishwanathan telling us that these new varieties are climate smart, they use less water, give more grain, and they are not genetically modified. So that apprehension which people have that there are foreign genes included in this is certainly not with these two varieties. And like he promises, I will go and have Kamala and maybe Sambar in his lab or in Hyderabad. With camera person moment in New Delhi, Pala Bagla for NDTV.